Are you ready for the crisp fall air, the hot beverages, and some cute fall decor? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we transformed our front porch from drab to fab, utilizing thrifted items and Walmart, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Lindsay with Organized to Save. My goal is to help you get organized and be more productive using budget-friendly hacks so that way you can declutter and simplify. Today's video is a collaboration with Christina from the DIY Mommy. Part of her fall DIY and decorate series. Make sure to check out the playlist linked down below. The front porch is one of my daughter and I's favorite places to hang out. You'll often find us on Instagram, chilling out here, eating our lunches, and just enjoying the outdoors. But our front porch needed a makeover. So I collected a couple things, hit some thrift stores, some barn sales, and Walmart. All right guys, so here is the before of our front porch. It's a great space, but just needed a little sprucing to get it in the fall season. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a couple DIYs, so make sure to watch to the end to see how I used an embroidery hoop and some greenery from Walmart to create a really pretty wreath. And then I'm also gonna show you here in a moment how I transformed a door to give us a little extra privacy. So this door is one that I found at a barn sale actually almost a year ago and we're just now getting to it. The glass unfortunately did break but all that I did was clean it up and then I used a sealing spray on it just to seal in all of the paint chips. I just did a couple of really good coats over it. And then this door we're actually going to be hanging on the side of our porch so I wanted to attach a little flower box onto it. This box I had previously but you could easily make this just with some scrap wood that you have lying around. Since we are securing this from the ceiling, we picked up a couple supplies at the hardware store. We just got some eyelet hooks and then some chain as well. And all that we did was basically drill holes into the top of the door, screwed in those hooks, and then drilled into the ceiling of the porch as well, screwed in a few more hooks. And then that way we can just hook the chain on there and easily take the door off when it becomes winter time or if we have a really bad storm coming, we can simply just unhook it and take it down. What I love about adding this door here is it adds an extra little bit of privacy. It also blocks the ugly tree that needs taken down in our yard, but it's a great way to bring in just an extra little charm, farmhouse charm, and I loved that I had the extra opportunity to decorate the flower box as well. As you see, I just simply put a filler box in there and some little foam pieces just to fill it up. And then I just used some leftover burlap and put that in the box as kind of a base and then just decorated it using some pumpkins from Walmart and some little sprigs from the Dollar Tree. On the other side of the porch, we did the exact same process in order to hang up this window. And then I found this little welcome sign actually at a thrift store, but I think it was originally from Target. I thought it was super cute and would add an extra little dimension on this window. And then on our front door, I love to put a fall wreath up here. Normally I make one, but I lucked out this year and found this wreath at a thrift shop. It was originally from Target and I actually saw one at Target today that looked almost exactly like this. It just was a colorful one that was for $20 and I got this wreath for I believe $4.99. So huge savings. Don't forget to check out your thrift stores. So I had to make a wreath after all, and all that I'm using for this is just a 12 inch embroidery hoop, some leftover burlap, and then some floral. But all that I'm doing is breaking off a couple sprigs of this greenery and then just using some floral tape and wrapping it around the hoop. Now you could secure this permanently, but I wanted to be able to switch it out if I wanted to. But honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it as is because it turns out so cute. But simply just take different types of floral. Um, I even had a couple Dollar Tree sprigs that I pulled out the pine cones and used those as well. And then just used a couple cotton stems that I found at Walmart as well. Now, this greenery and the cotton stems at Walmart was actually a fairly decent price, but you could also go, you know, to any of the craft stores when they have great coupon days as well. And this little metal sign that I'm using was, again, from the Dollar Tree, one of my favorite places to shop, and I had this on hand from a previous pack. This one just says, welcome, which is perfect to have on the front porch. 
front door, I simply placed my rugs down and I love layering the rugs at the front door. The bottom one is one that I just found at Five Below last summer. And then the top one, I believe I found at um, either Target or Gordon's. But this fault sign is one that I made a couple years ago. I love it because on the other side, you can flip it around and it just says welcome. And then these copper buckets that you're seeing that I have my mom's in, I found thrifting. And then all these pumpkins, minus the one on the right, are from Walmart. Walmart had an awesome selection of faux pumpkins. They had all different shapes, sizes, and colors, and for super cheap. Walmart also had a really cute selection on little accent pillows, and I found two there for only $5 each that just work perfectly on my little bench. Alright, so here's a reminder of the before. And now, let's check out the after. I'm seriously in love with this fall porch now. I have all of the cozy vibes. I love the little accents that I put in here of the flowers and of layering the different pumpkins. I'm so in love with putting this window up as well as the door. I love that the door gives it another little kind of farmhouse touch, but it also brings in a little bit of privacy. It's fun to be able to bring in faux and real, so I like having these real mums now if I can keep them alive is another story but having the little pumpkins as well in the flower box is going to be a fun little accent and I'm excited to be able to switch up that flower box throughout the seasons so I'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite season? Are you a fellow fall lover? Leave a little leaf emoji in the comments down below or let me know what your favorite season is. If you're a big fan of fall decor, make sure to check out the playlist on your screen right now for a few more videos to get your house ready for fall. And don't forget to check out the playlist down below for the DIY challenge. We'll see you in the next video.